Hi, Chucks. I am the cloaked mirror. Let me in. So, now to Batgirl number one. It's by Gail Simone, who I am told is a good writer. Uh, we'll see. So, it's a weirdly photorealistic, but also not cover. It's just, it just seems badly photoshopped. But moving on, can't judge a comic by its cover. <laughs> so we have this guy who introduces a serial killer named The Mirror, who has a, uh, who kills people who he f feels should have died uh, close to the way that they would have died originally. Like, this man drowned, so he shoves a hose down the guy's throat and just drowns him on dry land. It's pretty messed up. And, of course, Barbara Gordon's on his list. Hmm. Wonder how she should have died. Yes. Well, she has a lot of talking to herself, a lot more than most superheroes, which is really saying something. See, now she's back. Now Batgirl is back on her feet, so to speak. There are these losers called the Brisby Murderers, the Brisby Killers, who um. Uh, if serial killers could be tryhards, seriously. I mean, look at these guys. But let's move on, and, um... I mean, one of them is even whining about get the cold outside. Oh, jeez. So, fight scene ensues. She manages to be... win, but she hesitates when the other guy has a gun to it from the hostages' heads. Then this guy f seems to think that, just like video games, grabbing a woman by her forearms means she's helpless. Yeah, that's not really how things work. <laughs> that's actually really satisfying. So they go out the window. Uh, she almost, she tries not to drop him. And she doesn't. Yay. Let's flash back to the killing joke. Now, Barbara Gordon famously lost her um, ability to walk in a... after the Joker shot her spine in the killing joke. Something that Gail Simone actually criticized as part of her women, women in refrigerators. So now she's getting a chance to um, change that. And... Overall, my impression is that her heart actually isn't in it. Barbara Gordon's here meets her new new roommate. Um, there's a brief discussion with her father that you know implies that he had to get some really special treatments for her to get her feet back, and that she was actually only in a in a wheelchair for about three years. There's a lot of timeline compressing going on now here. This is... Supposedly, the new 52 is going to have a little more editorial oversight when it comes to, you know, continuity, but this is going to collapse very quickly. There's no way this is going to hold up. Three years, five years, one year before that. God, it's like it's getting like Asbar. All-Star Batman and Robin. Yeah, she says some insensitive things. Oh, come on, Barbara, you can call her out on that. I always call people out. Yeah, it sometimes doesn't work, but, you know, I always do. Hi, I'm Heidi. Hi, Heidi. So he just shoots this other cop. Um, I thought his MO was to kill people who 
should have died in an accident. Yeah. So she goes through the hospital, runs in a mirror, and I like his look. I really do. It's about all I like about him. Moving on. He apologizes for shooting her partner, which is, you know, hey, you know, thought that counts. See your true face. I wonder what he shows people under that cloak. It's, it's built up to be a bit of a mystery. I hope the let payoff isn't, you know, disappointing. It's probably going to be disappointing. Now, Batgirl freezes up when a gun is pointed, pointed at her. Um... But, which means he's she's unable to stop as Mir throws this jerk out the window. <laughs> At first I misread that as a M, so I thought instead of saying no as he went out the window, he was going, moo! Anyway. Then she's bl this detective blames Batgirl for letting him die. Come on, cut her some slack. I mean, she just kind of froze up. You know, people do that. Are we over the cops hating superheroes, or are we not? I'm really getting mixed messages here. The thing is... <coughs> despite Gail Simone's, you know, being famously outspoken against crippling Batgirl... Given a chance to um, undo that, she seems to not really have her heart in it, as if she feels she spends so much time talking about how almost how bad girls should be in the chair that perhaps you know over the years she came to recognize that getting that felt. That actually having Batgirl's Oracle made for better stories. It's a... I guess then working on the story where Batgirl starts to, you know, walk again would be something of a monkey's paw. You got what you wanted, but it wasn't what you wanted. Anyway, so that's the end of that one. Um... Eight minutes! See ya, Chucks.